All right, let's go ahead and get it. Uh, we just are leaving the rest stop. Uh, there are angle parking spots. Uh, this is where you go to, you know, use the bathroom, uh, you know, get something to eat, refresh yourself. And then I'm backing up. There are people coming in off of the expressway, so you gotta be careful. This is for the cars only. On the left, that's where semi-trucks and cars or trucks or trailers, that's where people are resting. That's where the bathroom is. There's also a map in there, just in case. I don't know if you guys know what a map is, but I'm gonna show you where you're going. Yep, they're resting. This is a little tricky. You've gotta go out slow. Ooh, I would hate to have my house there. You gotta go out slow, and then you can start picking up speed. So you're getting some good value. Up oh, there's a semi-truck. So I'm letting them go. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this is real, this is great. So I'm gonna wave him by, let them go. It's not even worth it. But you get a chance to see what it's really like. And then it's gonna take them a moment to merge. So they're all communicating to each other. That's why they flash the lights. And I'm looking over. And then I'm just going slow. This other car's doing about 70. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get out. And I'm gonna go ahead and get all the way over to the left. So that, that was true life merge right there. Those trucks, <laughs> that's real. Oh, so I'm out of there. I might even go mess around. It's really important that you understand what just happened. If you don't, you'll try to speed up, cut off trucks, they can't stop, they'll... So you just wanna be at moderate speed and get out there. My fuel range is 156, right around 100. I'll stop, I don't wanna cut it down. I've cut it down to 50 before 40, that's really scary. You don't wanna do that. and gravity pull me down a lot of this route is a downhill drop so it's really easy to carry so much speed and go 80 90 100 it's not worth it your your equipment won't tolerate that and you're just leaving yourself open to getting a speeding ticket so they have the four ways on is it a flat tire are they pulled over and resting just don't know and, and those semi trucks they have a service truck that comes out to change the tires um, they don't have the truckers do that because those tires are really heavy so I took that rest that was that helped me I got out of the car walked a few minutes got some cold air educated you about rest stops the left side is usually for semi trucks or cars or trucks or trailers. The right side is for cars only, smaller angle parking spots. To the left, you have larger spots. And we saw a lot of semi trucks. And then of course those two semi trucks came out and I'm like, oh my God. You know, one truck flashed just like the other driver slowed down. So it's nice if you could travel as a team This vehicle has automatic uh, bright lights, so it helps you see. I feel pretty alert. That that stop when I got out, that helped me more than you know. Just to break up the routine, the monotonous 
mile after mile after mile. But I've been in the transportation industry 23 years. I have a chauffeur's license. Um, so this means I can drive a vehicle, I believe, up to 13,000, 12,000 pounds. If I wanted to do a party bus or something, I would have to get a CDL class one. I was thinking about that. That still could be an option. That'd be really fun. Make some good money and weddings, parties, bachelor parties. So that's still on the table. You never know. You don't want to limit yourself. I would have to take another test. Um, take a special physical. And I think for the CDL class one, that's a one year certification. They're very strict on the health standards, high blood pressure, diabetes. Uh, my vision is excellent and I'm in very good shape. So I've got a downhill drop and just letting the car work. Meaning, uh, let's let gravity pull me down, good speed. I'm not going super fast, no need to. To my left, they have a cabling system. Some areas of the of the country have guardrails, and there's a lot of uh, issues with those because you could be impaled. It could come through the window. So if I lost control and went to the left, those cables would hopefully um, secure the car. In theory, and those sounds do wake you up not hanging around the truck. They're from Ontario. Food 104. Mm. I'm at 149. I said around 100 I would uh, get fuel. So I'm gonna keep going. I know there are plenty of petrol stations all around. guide signs are green and white so you got to know what those mean I'll be doing some tutorials on those very soon these those 465 it's a beautiful building I had a little food and hydrated so I, I feel much better You gotta know the sound of your car if it's making weird sounds, there's something wrong. The furthest I've been is Texas. That was a really long drive. What's the furthest you guys been? Keep right, accept the pass. Well, guess I'll get over to the right. This white line is the edge line to the right marks the edge of the road. Every state or province has different things, basic driver's education knowledge, driver's license knowledge. If you don't know, um, I'm a state certified driving instructor, I teach teens and adults, so this is a tutorial driving on the interstate at night with semi trucks. kind of kind of weird my speed's really good so I'm gonna go ahead and get over to the left 
I used to wait till the last second to just uh, pass these trucks, but I'm, I'm, I'm giving myself more time and them more room. You can see that those lights, man. That's pretty cool down there, that red light. Looks good. These things are huge. I do not want to hang around that thing. And then once that semi truck is in my uh, mirror, center mirror, I'm getting back over. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I don't want to really out except for the semi trucks and drivers going back and forth to a location. <laughs> Some people enjoy driving at night. Most are home, so a lot of the laws for, you know, in New York, you had to be, uh, you know, 16 in order to obtain your license. And I see why they have laws because most people are just sleep right now and you can get a lot of traveling done. Got your guide signs telling you, restaurant, state police sheriff 110, we're not trying to mess with them, we're good. 